Hi everyone, hope you're well. In this video, I wanted to introduce you to the Westlock Intellis Network Monitor. Um, I have the product here in front of me. Um, so in a previous video, we talked about the, uh, the Westlock Control Monitor, where we'd taken the standard switch box and we'd actually integrated the solenoid into the switch box um, and made it into the control monitor, which we call the Quantum. This product actually takes that a step further. Um, on a lot of sites, the I.O. around the site is, is distributed and is in a lot of cabinets. And with a lot of switch boxes, um, we would wire backwards and forwards from the cabinet to the actual devices. And as you can imagine, there can be a lot of cable runs um, and a lot of different cables going backwards and forwards. Um, so the Intellis concept is basically to take that I.O. card that will be in the cabinet and we migrate it and actually put it inside the switch box. Um, this is a, an ASI version that you can see here. Um, what that allows you to do then is to use a bus system and to actually daisy chain um, using different topologies to actually um, connect all the different switch boxes together on the plant rather than running cables backwards and forwards. You've got a cable from one switch box to the next switch box to the next switch box. So it's a bit like the old way that we used to um, connect computers um, in the office and connect the printer and things like that. So that's kind of a simple, simple analogy of a bus system. Um, so the product we've got here is, is very uh, similar to what you've seen already. You've got all the features of Westlock that you know and love. So you've got the stainless steel shaft, you've got the, uh, the housing, you've got the beacon, you've got the various different conduits, etc. We've integrated the solenoid as we did um, with the uh, control monitor, but you can actually take these devices without the solenoid as well if you just want feedback um, on the network. So we can do that without the actual uh, solenoid on there. Um, but basically what we've done is, is we've integrated um, the network card into there. Um, so we've got various different protocols. There's five main protocols. You've got ASI, Profibus, DeviceNet, Foundation Field Bus and Modbus. And basically whichever protocol we go with, we put the relevant card into the housing. Um, as you'll see from this unit here, we've actually got a device net, uh, sorry, an ASI card in there. And on this unit here, I can get the lid off. We've actually got a Profibus card. So we can just slot the relevant card in for the network that you want. Again, really neat little product this, um, comes with a lot of features and benefits. Um, we have a clear lid on the switch box as opposed to the solid um, lid. And that means that when the lid's in place, you can actually see the diagnostic LEDs on the cards without actually taking the lid, the lid off. Um, so that's quite a nice little feature on there. Um, the switches, normally you'd have mechanical switches or magnum sensors inside the switch box, but on the network um, packs, we've actually got the switches incorporated within the pack and they actually work by a Hall effect sensor. So we actually have the striker that comes in front of the pack as you would do with a normal switch, but it actually works using Hall effect to actually tell the, uh, the card whether the switch is made or not. So that's quite a nice little uh, addition to the uh, to the pack there as well. Um, these units can be addressed before they come to site. So if you were to give us your tagging list and give us your actual addresses for the devices, we could actually pre-address them for you so that when you uh, when you bring them to site, you plug them in and they're already pre-addressed. There's quite a lot of other things we can do with the box for you. We can put pin connectors on there and we can pre-wire those into the terminal strip. Again, making it much more of a plug and play product um, that customers can use. We've got all the options that you had before on the Quantum with the solenoid. So you've got the, uh, the different uh, bodies on there. You've got the, uh, the stainless steel version, the aluminium version. You've got a little telltale um, diagnostic feature on there, which I told you about before. The other great thing about the solenoid on the outside of the box is if you just undo, undo these two bolts here, you can actually take the spool off and you can replace it. So if there's any problem with the spool getting dirty or it wearing, you can actually replace that without actually taking the network monitor um, out of situ and, and, and swapping it. So again, quite a good uh, little feature on there. Um, so that just gives you a little bit of an insight into the uh, Westlock Intellis network monitor. Thanks very much for listening. As always, please give us a like and share on social media. If you have missed any of our videos, please head over to our YouTube channel where they're all on there and you can see the previous videos that we've done and future videos and you can actually subscribe and you'll get updates when we put new things on there. Well, thank you very much.